Hi, I'm Nick Rose and I'm a Sales Director at Sharp UK. I wanted to undertake the Level 7 in Senior Sales Leadership because I'd spent um, a very long time in a variety of different sales roles, more latterly in sales management roles. Um, I felt that by adding um, an academic and structured learning experience to my practical knowledge would make me a more rounded sales leader. Um, that would give me the ability to have a big, bigger impact on the, uh, the teams and the people um, that I work with. Um, but also uh, it was a desire for personal growth, for wanting to stretch my own capabilities and to find out um, whether I was, was able to just kind of switch on the academic side that I, I'd never had the chance to, to show previously. Um, so it was very much about personal growth, but also an ability to be able to have a bigger impact on the business that I work in. I found all of the modules really interesting. I think the one that stood out for me was the coaching module, which made a huge difference to my leadership style overall. Um, that helped me to see that telling and directing uh, were not the most effective long-term ways of, um, of, of, of helping people with their own goals and objectives. And so that really did transform the way that I approach one-to-one -one sessions with, with team members and the way that the, um, the managers in my team do. So we, we've really embraced and adapted a coaching culture. But the learnings were fantastic and the grow, the grow framework was something that I found really um, interesting and easy to use as well. My favourite thing about the apprenticeship was the feeling of personal growth, looking at the journey holistically from where I was at the start to, uh, to where I am today. But that journey encompassed uh, so much learning, both personally and professionally. Um, amazing people, the, the people I was in the cohort with, as well as all of the tutors. Um, the whole journey really was amazing. If I had to pinpoint the favorite element of it, it would be that, that feeling of personal growth. The biggest perceived barrier for me was the fact, fact that I hadn't been to university, I hadn't done a degree. And so I didn't view myself as an academic person. Um, I'd never done uh, research to the level that I would need to for this. Um, I had never referenced, um, I'd, I'd not written, um, you know, a paper for a, a, a very long time. So those were skills I didn't believe I possessed. Um, what I found quite quickly upon starting the apprenticeship was that I was able to develop those skills, possibly because I was learning about an area that I'm really passionate um, and because it felt like the right time for me to learn in my journey. But I would certainly say that I was capable of so much more than I thought I was when it came to the actual academic side. The quick wins for me when the program started were the ability to step back and focus more strategically on, on the bigger picture. Um, I think previous to starting the course I'd been too heavily involved in the day-to-day the -day and hadn't spent enough time on, on strategy. Um, I would also say it taught me how to reflect very early on. Um, of course professionally is where I saw the, the biggest results there but I did also see some results in myself as a person. I think is a really important part of this apprenticeship journey is it's not just about work, it's about you as a, as a person as well. So yeah, I would, I would say the quickest wins were the, um, the strategic focus, um, uh, taking that time out away from the day to day and also the ability to reflect, which is something I didn't possess beforehand. And this really was a very comprehensive journey for me as a person, um, the graduation was an amazing day, um, surrounded by people that had been through something similar. Um, we'd all achieved together um, as a team in a lot of ways. Personally, I had achieved something I didn't think I was capable, if, if I'm really, really honest, of achieving. Um, and so it, it added an academic edge to the experience that I had. It's made me feel like a more rounded leader um, and that's been fed back to me by other people as well as, as feeling that in myself um, and really it's made me feel that I want to continue that journey of personal development.
So the next step is a big one, potentially with the doctorate. That's something I've given some consideration to. But either way, it's the um, it's, it's made me hungry to keep learning and to keep challenging myself for more. The apprenticeship has undoubtedly had a, a huge impact on my career. Um, I, it's opened a lot of doors for me in terms of the, the network I was able to develop, um, meeting some of the amazing people that I've met. It's led to opportunities for me to, um, to actually talk um, at, at some events, um, including Consalia's Global Sales Transformation event, which was a real highlight for me, but also locally um, in places like colleges and universities where I've delivered lectures to young people um, about the profession of sales. Um, in terms of the organisation, um, out the back of my dissertation project, um, I was able to, um, to spot some potential issues that we had in, in terms of the way that we recruit and onboard, or we did recruit and onboard salespeople. And off the back of that, I was able to launch our UK Sales Academy. Um, so we brought in a cohort of sales graduates. Um, and it's been an amazing project that has had a fairly major impact on, on the uh, Sharps UK operation and the way that we bring in um, recruits and onboard salespeople. I really can't speak enthusiastically enough about the, um, about the apprenticeship journey. Anybody that is considering undertaking it, I would, I would say just do it. Um, of, of course, as long as you've got the, the ability to, to give it the time uh, and energy that it needs, um, but it's it's an incredible journey. It's helped me personally and professionally. I've met some amazing people. I've learned so much about a profession that I um, I had an amazing passion for, um, and it just opened up doors and a way of thinking that I never even knew existed beforehand. And so I would describe that journey as um, as one of learning, as one of understanding. Um, for me, it feels like the start of a journey as opposed to um, something with a, a finite beginning and end in that it's, it's made me hungry to keep developing and to want more. And I think that's essential in, in sales leadership as it, as it rapidly transforms. Um, so yeah, in summary, I would say just do it.